ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, people of all ages, everywhere, all across America and all across the world, welcome to my a bit of a different payday video. I'm going to be doing the newest Hotline Miami 2 DLCs. So this comes with new masks, a new character, which I'm really excited about, and a new weapon. And I believe a few new melee weapons as well, because... You can't have Hotline Miami without any weapons. So let's get right into it and check out all the things that we got. So we go into masks and... Oh, that's a bit of a spoiler. I'm sorry. Um, let me just sell this mask so we can have an empty one. So now we need to go into collaboration. Because, you know, Overkill's been collaborating with... Uh, you know, the people who made Hotline Miami. And we're going to check out these new masks first, and then we're going to go into the um, new characters and talk about all that stuff, and maybe even if this video gets a few more likes, I'll do a extra video providing gameplay for these masks and the new weapons that come with it. So this is Brandon. Brandon has a thing for walking really, really fast. Brandon is a panther, and panthers are large cats. One funny thing is that only the tiger, lion, leopard, and jaguar has the antim antim anatomical structure which enables them to war. Poor panther. So if we preview this mask, we get a pretty standard panther. He's purple, which is kind of cool, but... I don't know why these textures are really fuzzy, and I couldn't really seem to do anything about that. Um, but you could see it's got whiskers there, and if cats and panthers are your thing, this is the mask for you. So, yeah, you, I like how you can't really see the eyes, how they're kind of black and shadowed like that. That's pretty cool. The next math is mask, not math. God, I hate, I hate that is Don Juan. Don Juan loves slamming doors in. Oh wait, I forgot to read. Don Juan loves slamming doors in. Knock knock, who's there? It's Don Juan. Prepare yourself. Pro tip, in Hotline Miami, you get 2,200 points while performing ground kills against the wall when using this mask. I actually didn't know that, that's pretty cool. But I use Don Juan a lot just to because it's really good to be able to just instantly kill people by smacking them in the face with doors while playing Hotline Miami. Um, it's basically a standard horse mask like in the like in Hotline Miami. I'm wondering if there's gonna be some kind of effect where doors like hurt people when you open them or something. I don't know how that'll work or if they're gonna have any special abilities that these masks have. This is Richard. I believe it's the this is like the OG Richard that's used in Hotline Miami one. Air or um, I think so. There's three different types of Richard that you get with this, but one of them is mysteriously locked. So I'll get into that later. But this is just a the standard Richard mask. If you, um, you know, it's the one. It's the mask that the guy who talks to you and asks you the, asks you uh, asks you those questions in the beginning of Hotline Miami and all throughout the story. You know, it says it right here, it says, Richard enjoys spending time with different personas and asking questions. Do you like hurting people? Who is leaving the messages on your answering machine? Where are you right now? And why are, are we having this conversation? Those are the four questions that are asked for you during the Hotline Miami um, game. So that's kind of just the standard Richard mask. Here's Tony. Tony uses his fist of furies to beat the crap out of anybody who messes with him. Tony was born in the 1970s and was a Italian-American nationality. Many people easily recognize Tony, probably in part because of his tiger mask and in part of his physical brutality when dealing with people he don't like. So this is probably one of my favorite masks in the whole Hotline Miami story thing. Surprisingly, this game, this DLC came out before like, I mean, it's March 10th right now, when the game is supposed to come out, and I got this DLC before the game even came out, so I don't know what's that, what that's all about, but, um, this is probably my favorite, um, mask in Hotline Miami, if you didn't, if you didn't know in the description, he did say that he likes to beat the crap anybody, out of anybody, in Hotline Miami, when you, 
it's basically an instant KO if you punch people in the face while wearing the Tony mask. But anyway, this is Alex. One half of a brother and sister duo, Alex likes swans. They are fierce, unlike swans. They wield chainsaws. No, unlike swans, they wield chainsaws and SMGs. Like swans, they are closely bonded. Unlike swans, they have a pre penchant for slaughter. I'm sorry, I'm not good at reading. <laughs> it's a swan, obviously, but it seems to have this kind of pink thing over the head. I'm not sure what that is or if swans have that or not. Again, sorry about the fuzzy detail. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty much a swan. It's self-explanatory. Um... I'm not sure if you get this in Hotline Miami, I'm actually not done with Hotline Miami. You probably get them all in the first one, except for the a few of them, which I'll talk about later. But, you know, uh, it's a, <laughs> it's a swan, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Alright, and here is Biker. When you're a thrill seeker and a risk taker, and a lot live for the moment kind of heister, it is important to have at least some measure of protection. That also goes if you're a meat cleaver waving maniac. So, this might also be a mask, I haven't gotten it yet. It kind of looks like the mask from GTA Online, the one that you get when you are get on a bike or, or parachuting, the default one. But it's got, you can see there's a little bit of chips in the top and stuff. This is pre pretty unique because it doesn't have that those straps on the back and you probably, th I'm wondering if they made a new animation for when you put this mask on or if you're just going to stick your face to the back of the helmet. I think that would be pretty entertaining. Alright, so here's Cory. When you're the most delicious lunch on the savannah, you have to be fast, agile, and cunning if you're going to survive. Cory is all of those things. Zebras are also peaceful, gentle, and herbivorous. Cory is none of those things. It's basically um, a zebra. It's got that standard strap that all the masks have except for the biker and a few of the other masks that we're going to look at. Um, I don't know. It's <laughs> a zebra and I'm wondering if maybe you see your eyes through these holes. That's what I've been wondering for a while. I've never paid attention to the masks, but they're actually a really important part of the game. Um, but anyway, this is Jake. Jake's actually kind of important to the story of Hotline Miami 2 and 1, so he's kind of an e more of an Easter egg in 1, but, you know. There's no, such good, there's no such thing as a good snake, but even among the deadly serpents, the cobra is bad news. The broad hood, when seen, is a display of threat, so run. Its long fangs can pierce elephant skin, so run. And just a drop of w venom can fell a dozer, so look, basically when you see this, just run because they also spit. This is a Jake. I really like the design of this one. I feel like they put a lot of detail into this one and Tony and the original Richard mask, all of these. You can really tell where the they put their effort into and I really like this one. This is going to be the one one of the ones that I wear a lot. Um, I really like how there's just individual wrinkles in it. If it wasn't so fuzzy, it would actually look like a pretty real mask. I'm sure that the, there are fans making real versions of these, so I bet if you go onto eBay, you can probably buy one. It might be pretty cheap, too. Fun Halloween. Alright, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I'm just going to say Reekter, though. So, Like the rat, Reekter is a silent killer. It can also make its way into just about anywhere. It's the mo into the most secure banks and apartments. It can avoid detection when it wants, and once there, spread death like a plague. It kills without remorse, nothing personal. So this prob this mask probably gives you a bit of a stealth bonus, if it gives you any bonuses at all. I still don't know if masks give you bonuses or not, but I like this one too. I like the teeth that come out and, you know, all these masks, since the masks are such a big important part of Hotline Miami, uh, Overkill really, really had to step up and make these some really nice detailed masks. All right, here we go. Tony's Revenge. The near-perfect predator. Tigers are immer immersely strong, yet fast. They are brutal, yet patient. They can stalk silently before exploding into violence. The perfect killing machine. Despite this, the tiger is in a decline. Poachers prize the tigers in, 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 tradition, in traditional medicine. 
So don't get taken alive. This is just like the Tony mask, except it's clearly been ripped apart. I believe the lore for this one in Hotline Miami 2 is that one of your fans picks it up and really is aspiring to be like you, so he wears this around now, but it's been all messed up from your brutal killings. If we go back to this one, I actually like this one a lot more than this one, because compared to that one, this one looks like a, a kitty. Like this, and then this. Which one looks more threatening to you? I don't know. I like, I like this one a lot more. So this one's very interesting. It says, this is a clean version of the iconic Richard mask before it was painting, painted. Never liked how the original one turned out. This is your chance to change history. So, I don't know. It doesn't let you view this one, and I'm... Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you have to do a certain thing, or maybe it's just a spare one for the next one, just in case you paint this or something. I don't know. Um, but... That's... It's really mysterious. I don't know. Maybe you guys could leave a comment if you know how to, and I'll make a quick update video. But I can never seem to preview this one. It's really got my interest. I already put assembled this one, so we'll just go back into my... Yeah, here. Is this mask a reflection of deep-seated psychological problem? Possibly. Uh, dissociative... Dissociative identity so disorder. Not even gonna try. Trauma of a disturbed psych, or is it, or is it not a reflection at all, but instead something to cause them? So, this is um the original. Well, uh, not the original. It's more like the updated mask that you'll see in Hotline Miami 2. This is the mask that is worn by Jacket in the his DLC trailer. I really, really like this one. In my opinion, I'd probably wear Jake, Tony's Revenge, and this one if I can only wear three. Because these three, they're really well detailed. I like how it shines right here. You know, it doesn't have that stupid strap. I never liked that. It's got it's a full mask. You just put it over your head, and it's a full mask, which I'm excited about. So, um, now we're going to get into some of the big stuff. The thing I was most excited about, which is Jacket. <coughs> Allegedly, he once wiped out the entire Russian Mafia in Miami all on his own. His background in the mit military and his unflinching flinching attitude towards over-the-top violence has made him an excellent hitman, or messenger, as some like to call it. For unknown reasons, he is completely mute and chooses to communicate only with the help of a tape recorder, playing back bits and pieces of language learning tapes, PAs, and documentary... documentary... I can't speak today. Documentary narrations instead of speaking. When you select Jacket, oh, well, that's just, you know, preferred character crap. I really like this character. I love the way he doesn't wear the standard suit like everybody else. He wears a, um, no, a, a jacket, <laughs> which is kind of self explanatory. But I, hang on. If you, the interesting thing about this is that you can remove his oops oh yeah you can customize that if you want I'm not going to I'll leave it vanilla yeah. so let me just put on the thing that gives you your most you know the best look you can get of his face he's pretty much a pretty standard guy he's got a nice he's got a cut and he's got that 80s kind of style to him with a B here I don't know what that stands for but, you know, he's got that really bright blue shirt and jeans, just like in the game and in the trailer. And he seems like, I'm going to use this guy a lot. He seems pretty awesome. There is one more thing, I believe, that you can use this guy for. Or wha there's one new thing that you get from the DLC, which is Jacket's Piece. This is the Hotline Miami 2 Deluxe item, so only if you got the Deluxe Edition do you get this. It's got a big magazine, you know, it's got, it's really good stats, actually, and was fa fairly impressed that they were able to give away something so nice. But, basically, I remember it coming with a, um, camo, but this looks like a regular submachine gun, but I really like the look of it, and I think I'm gonna try it out. If you guys like it, if you guys like this video, I could make a, um, gameplay, 
you know, kind of messing around with all the new stuff. But that's all for today, guys. If you really like this, I'll make another gameplay video, like I said before. And I'll see you all guys. I'll see you guys. Sorry. I don't know what's wrong with my voice today, but that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys next time, and bye bye for now. I, I really haven't come up with an outro yet. I probably should. <laughs>